Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is Time to Kill. In this episode, we're taking an in-depth look at the optical attachments featured in Modern Warfare 3, and the effect they'll have on your precision. It was Call of Duty 4 that first introduced weapon attachments to the series, and with it, two optical options, the Red Dot Sight and ACOG Scope. Modern Warfare 2 expanded this to incorporate both an EarTech holographic sight and an infrared thermal scope that highlights enemies in white. Now in Modern Warfare 3, there are more options than ever, with the introduction of versatile hybrid scopes for both the assault rifles and SMGs. Of course, these attachments are optional, and most weapons can perform just as well without the addition of an optical attachment. Most come with iron sights, a cruder, more mechanical way of indicating your point of aim, but sufficient nonetheless. Iron sights are innate to the weapon, and usually quite distinctive. They contribute much to a weapon's character, from the occlusive sights of the G36, to the wide open if slightly unusual sights seen on the fad. Aiming down your sight with most weapons will zoom in your view slightly, some more so than others, and naturally the optical attachments will affect this too. When aiming with iron sights, typically your view will zoom to about 1.2 times magnification, providing a marginal benefit to your accuracy. This 1.2 times magnification applies to SMGs, LMGs, shotguns and machine pistols. Assault rifles are an exception. They benefit from a slightly elevated zoom level, at about 1.35 times magnification. This gives them the edge in precision when used without an optic but enhanced magnification does come at the cost of reduced peripheral vision when aiming. Pistols are another exception, as they gain no magnification whatsoever when aiming, making long-range precision tricky, and limiting the pistol to close-range engagements only. Unlike most other weapons, sniper rifles don't come equipped with iron sights. Instead, by default, they come equipped with a high magnification scope. Default magnification is a hefty 4.8 times, granting better precision over the longer sightlines the snipers excel at at the cost of blacking out your peripheral vision. The AS-50 is an exception, with a lower powered scope providing 2.4 times magnification instead. Less effective at range, but allowing for greater situation awareness and more effective use up close. The launcher category has an assortment of oddballs, the small and RPG being the least unusual with the standard 1.2 times iron sight magnification. The M320 GLM has no magnification whatsoever, much like a handgun might. The XM25's unique rangefinding scope has a magnification of 1.7 times, and the Javelin and Stinger have the highest degree of magnification at 2.8 times, with both of these taking the longest time to aim. The Red Dot Sight is an optical attachment available for most weapons. The assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, LMGs and machine pistols all have access to this optic. Unlike previous installments of Call of Duty, where the Red Dot Sight was functionally equivalent to the weapon's iron sights, in Modern Warfare 3 this optic will affect your weapon's magnification. Any weapon equipped with a Red Dot will have 1.35 times magnification. This is the same as the default for the iron sights on the assault rifles, but for all other weapons this will increase magnification, and thus give you a better view on target. It also used to be the case that the holographic sight was functionally identical to the Red Dot Sight, this is no longer the case, with the difference extending beyond the cosmetic. The holographic will now increase your weapon's magnification to 1.5 times, providing a zoom advantage even to the assault rifles, and is balanced by the holographic's occlusive frame and the loss in peripheral vision associated with the higher magnification. Use this sight on the weapon suited to longer ranged engagements for an advantage in precision while retaining much of your close range ability. Should you choose to embrace a long range role, there are a few long ranged options which will increase your magnification even further. The ACOG scope offers 2.4 times magnification, doubling the size of targets when compared to the default iron sight zoom level. Unfortunately, this better view on target comes with a couple of downsides, in an effort to preserve balance amongst the attachments. Unlike the two close range attachments, where aim speed depends on weapon class, the ACOG is slower to aim taking up to 400 milliseconds to scope in fully. In addition, recoil recovery speed is reduced, meaning that automatic fire will quickly become less accurate. The thermal scope is similar, with an identical 2.4 times magnification to the ACOG, and provides a white-hot infrared view, highlighting enemies without assassin in white. 
it will increase effective recoil in a similar manner to the ACOG, and also slows your aim, although not to the same degree, with the thermal being slightly quicker on the draw. For certain weapon categories, there are optical attachments with multiple zoom levels, which will enhance your weapon's versatility, granting different magnifications for different sightlines. For the sniper rifles, the variable zoom will grant three different zoom levels, the lowest being only slightly higher than the ACOG zoom at 2.8 times. The second is the same as the default at 4.8 times, and the highest magnification will give you a clear view over even the longest sightline at a little over 9 times magnification. For assault rifles, there exists the hybrid scope, essentially the holographic sight with an optional magnifier in front of it, giving you two options to switch between. With the magnifier in place, you lose most of your peripheral vision, but do gain magnification equal to the ACOG at 2.4 times. Flip the magnifier away, and you'll have a close range option, although unusually you'll have the lower magnification of 1.2 times instead of the assault rifle's default 1.35 times. For the SMGs, there's the hammer scope which is very similar to the hybrid, with a close-range sight superposed on the magnified scope. The scope grants ACOG level magnification at 2.4 times, and the red dot on top gives you closer ranged precision, with 1.35 times magnification, slightly higher than the SMG's default, and as per the standalone red dot. So there you have it, the optical attachments and their respective effects. With this knowledge and an optic on your weapon, you'll have both a clearer side picture and a clearer understanding of how they work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in 2012 when Time to Kill will start properly as a weekly series, as I am for the time being unhampered with other work. If you're a fan of retro games, I can heartily recommend my Retro Ahoy channel, for which I'll be producing regular installments of Game Over. Think of it as a weapon guide for older games instead of weapons. Anyway, have a pleasant festive season, and until 2012, farewell.